Hi everyone, this is Quad. Welcome back to Spiritually Rooted. Um, where is it? I see like the dreadlock. I don't know if I ever did a video to show you, but this dreadlock right here. I don't know if you can really see it. Like, I literally could comb this one out. It's about like this thick of just nothing but a bush. So occasionally, like when I wash my hair, I got to like braid it down. I don't know why it starts unraveling, which is fine by me. I don't have a problem with it, but I have a few of them that are like that. But this product, I mean, this video is about four products that I'm going to talk about. And I'm just going to jump right into it. One of them are flax seeds. Now, I saw a video on how somebody made aloe vera gel using flax seeds. And I followed the instruction. I tweaked it with my own. And the only thing that did not come out right is the um, the strainer. I had a strainer for like the noodles, <laughs> but I need like the strainer that has like the little little holes because it was draining into what I had to drain it into. But when I lifted the strainer up, it had all the some of the flax seeds in there. So came in the room, I pulled out a stocking, put it in there. What a mess! Like I literally was getting like squeamish to my stomach because I'm like squeezing it and it's like snot. I'm like, oh <laughs> I definitely have to go to the 99 cent store and buy a cheap strainer and which you know I strained it out. I squeezed it out real good for maybe like I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes to I could probably had about I probably had about a good three and a half ounces that I squeezed out. So, um, squeeze it out. I took the spoon and I scraped it off my hand. Make sure you have a paper towel if you ever do it that way. Handy because, yeah, some of the flax seeds I had to, you know, pull up. But, like, it reminds me of, like, egg yolk. Like, when you beat an egg yolk and you go to lift it up and it's just, like, drop, but it's thicker. Now, for those of you who want to know, like, you know, how do you do it? I put it in a pot with... Um, two cups of water before you turn it on drop four tablespoons of flax seeds in there or however much you want I saw some videos where they did it like with a cup but um, I only did four tablespoons dropped it in there and then I turned it on and when the water started to get a little warm I started to stir it you literally have to stir it constantly or almost constantly every minute or so I kept it on so for about, I think it was about like a good 13 minutes, maybe 14, <laughs> because <clears throat> it, it started to come to a boil. I picked it up, I'm like, oh, still water, what's going on, where's this, the, the thickness of it, and after a while it started to get, get that thickness. Now, the longer you keep it on the stove, the, the more thicker it gets, but you have to stir it because it's like noodles, if you don't stir it occasionally and you go to start a big clamp together. So I did that and then I immediately took it off the heat and I started to drain it and I moved the spoon around the drainer to, you know, help the um the, the snot <laughs> go down. And it did along with some steam. Now the flax seeds that I got is from um Arrowhead Mill and it's a one pound and Flax seeds are a good source of iron. Sprinkle a tablespoon of ground of ground seeds on cereal, cooked veggies, or in a powder shape. Now, I'm going to give this another try or see how, because I did make it, but I, I have it in a refrigerator because I don't like how, I don't like the consistency of it. Like, it's just too thick for me. And maybe because I left it on the stove too long, but, um, I really don't like it like that, so I'm going to make a new batch tomorrow when I get a strainer and see how well it drains first, and I'm going to keep it on a little less than uh, 14 minutes, 10 minutes, drain it, and I put in aloe vera, one te teaspoon, um, one teaspoon of black castor oil, and one teaspoon of almond oil. And I mix it up, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, I don't really like how it is. And I want to use it for my um, twist of my dreadlock. So, 
I'm gonna keep it in the refrigerator, check it in the morning, and see how it is. If it's still like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like gooey when I stick my finger in there, then I may just, I probably won't throw it out. I probably use it as a cream, or when I do a deep conditioner for my hair, put it all in there on my dreadlocks and then rinse it off. And the pot, because I didn't put water in the pot right away in one of them anyway. Like I literally, when I put the hot water, I had to like scrape. <laughs> Scraped the pot like with my nails, and because I got cut them, scraped it up. It, it almost became like um like if you put glue on your hands and you peel the glue off your hands, it comes off a, like uh, like solid paper. It was almost like that. But needless to say, when I give it another go, and if I don't like how it comes out, needless to say, this won't go to waste because you can sprinkle this on food and stuff like that. So this will get good use. And you have to keep this in the refrigerator. I brought this from my health food store, and it is four dollars and nine cents. I thought it was gonna be like eight ninety nine for a pound. I was like, I don't know about that, but it, it was really um, inexpensive. So it won't go to waste. I will use it on my food, cereal and such. I have no problem. I might even try it tonight because I ain't cooked no dinner. So I may just dip it in my, um, put on my carrots and dip it in my dip. The other product I'm going to talk about, I don't know if I talked about the grape seed oil. I don't know if I did, but I'm going to mention it again. It's getting late and my eyes are burning and I'm forgetting, so it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> I brought this oil for my job. Now, for my local grocery store, it's... Six ninety nine, which is the same, but from IGA is a half a bottle. I'm like for six ninety nine, I'm not paying for it. And then what really turned me away from it, it was from um, International Something, but it didn't say on the bottle one hundred percent pure grape oil. So that's what shied me away from it. Then it said it was made in this uh, a place where it has peanuts or whatever traits of peanuts in it. So I was like, ah uh, no. So I went to my job and. Same price, six ninety nine, which I thought it was twelve ninety nine for a thirty four ounce, and it's by um by Bonelli, I believe that's how you pronounce it. One hundred percent natural, pure grape seed oil. Now, I read some reviews where people said that they um they had like a bad reaction to it. One girl said she sh she had it on, she was scratching terribly. So as soon as I brought it, I put it on my arm. I rubbed it on my arm the inner part of my arm and I put the sleeve down, went to work, hours later I was like, oh I did put it on there. No reaction. When I got home I put it on on my face and I was like two or three hours later and no reaction. I'm not itching or nothing. So <laughs> if it works no reaction on my face, my i I'll probably use it for my scalp base. So it, it it's gonna work for me. Um I like it because it's a light color. I'm all into uh, clear look, color. No, when I see dark stuff, I don't buy it. I try to stick with all clear because I know it's like more natural. But it's a very light consistency. It, it almost reminds me of like water, but it's a little thicker than water. It's very light, and I like that. And it's um, it absorbs very well into your skin. Well, at least into mine. What works for me may not work for you, but it absorbs well into my skin. And grapeseed oil also, excuse me y'all, my um, allergies are acting up. My, I saw a video where it said that um, it's great for blemishes and dark spots. Needless to say, in the summertime, <clears throat> I try to stay out of the sun because I don't burn like, oh, I burn it and my skin peels. The only time it gets like that if I'm at the beach for more than like four hours, yeah. Then I'm like peeling and my skin is burning, but in the summertime, when I'm out in the sun for more, like than an hour, my skin turns red, and it's not like a bubbly red. It's just like a a rich red. Like if you go to North, I don't know if you ever been to North Carolina, and they have like red soil that like stains the skin. That's how my skin gets. It gets red, and then when it wears off, <laughs> it stains my skin because like my blemishes around my eyes pop out on my my neck and mainly because my skin is dry and when my skin is dry I get very itchy and 
mainly like around my neck. Like here, just the other night, I, my skin started to get dry. And I was like scratching, scratching, scratching. So I was like, oh, I gotta get Albino. And that's what the time I used Albino because it's more thicker and it keeps my skin more moist. And in the summertime, I use Suave or um, Jurgen. So I definitely have to go buy some Albino tomorrow. Definitely. But I will use this for my blemishes on my face. But um, I'm going to give that a try. It seems to work well for me. That was product number two. Now, I've used Shea Butter. I think it was the last time I used Shea Butter. Pure Shea Butter. It was back in 2004 when I was working at a nursing home and my friend Max, um, he's, uh, he's from, he was from Africa, I think Kenya if I'm not mistaken. And he went back home for a visit and, you know, he's, he's a nice guy, you know, what do you want from Africa? I was like, uh, nothing. I was like, oh, can you bring me like shea butter? I'm talking about like real shea butter. And when he came back, we worked the 11 and 7, as soon as I, you know, clocked in and he was the, the nurse on the floor. And he will always say good night, and which is like the proper way of saying, you know, good night, hello, how are you? Good evening. I was like, good night. I was like, where are you going? He was like, what? I'm like, good. You said good night. Normally, to to me, like most Americans, when you say good night, it's like bye. You going to bed? <laughs> but that's how you know a lot of Africans, especially at night, would be good night. You know, you know, hello, how are you? But um. He said that, and I was like, good night. And then he just, like, held up his hand. And in his hand, he I think it was, like, some rare wrap. A big, thick one. <laughs> when I say this block was thick, it was thick. And I was like, he was like, you said you want shea butter? I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, thank you very much. And that shea butter, I kid you not, that shea butter lasted me a good year to almost two years like the block was thick it had me like a pound of block but it was thick and I just took off pieces and you know if it was warm and if I sat it out for a little while I just rubbed it all over but I was like wow so I've used shea butter raw shea butter I need to put my hair up because if I never it to me um I've used raw shea butter before now I looked online last night, I kid you not, because I wanted to make my, I wanted to make a shea butter cream, and I have shea butter leave and conditioner, but no, it's not the same to me, and I wanted to be all natural, so, I was looking on eBay last night, and when I kid you not, when I said I was going to buy it from eBay, from um, Ghana, I love my Ghanaian people, like, ooh, ooh, I tried it, I tried it. I was gonna buy it, and on eBay it was for no. It started at like eight or nine dollars to maybe like thirteen, fourteen. Like the bigger the pound of the block you want, the more it was. And I was gonna get a five pound box. I mean a five pound block, and it was literally I think the cheapest was like ten fifty. Free shipping, one day shipping, and you know I would have it by the twenty first. So. I was looking at that last night. I was like, let me just hold off. So, I went to work today. And my cousin was like, oh, yeah, I got to go to um, up the way to go find her son a uh, Halloween outfit. So, I was like, are you going to be past the beauty supply store? And she was like, well, where I'm going is right up in the plaza. So, I was like, great. Can you see if they have pure shea butter? Now, I was there Monday. And the shea butter that she got me, they did not have this. So they must have just got a new shipment in. Because the one that I saw was four ounces in a small jar. It was clear and it was by African something. And it was, um, oh gosh, what was it? I've got the, the red top was for the body and the green top was for your hair. Pure shea butter. Now both of them you could alternate because I questioned it. The one for the body was seven ninety nine. The one for the hair was eight ninety nine. I'm like, it's the same exact thing. Why are you charging two different prices? Guy really didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I was like, I'm not. Listen, I, 
I'll go on eBay and get it for like five dollars with free shipping and have it like two days later. So she went there today and she, you know, sent me a picture of one. Um, this shea butter um, conditioner that I have is is by Cantu, I think, C A N T U, and I like it. It's good, but um, they had a new product that that you could twist do your twist with and then they have the curly put and I was like no 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 and she's getting frustrated well put it in they have one in a tub I was like what you mean in a tub it's like a plastic container so when she said that I was like get it and she was like really I was like if it's in a plastic container I said that's pure shea butter get it so needless to say she got it and I was like how much is it Six ninety nine. now when I'm looking online and the products that people have when they use their shea butter is in the same exact tub and some of them I pay like six twenty nine to six ninety nine. So ta -da! I told her to get it. I told her to get me two. And it says um, Shea African butter one hundred percent natural. Sh African shea butter is made from a nut to make the skin look Then it says usage number one treatment of dry skin eczema in which when I was a little girl I had eczema tremendous like my um my niece well man nephew auntie you got a um a spot here in your face auntie I was like uh, hello they don't know I was like that's what happens when you have a skin disease and you grow out of it, it leaves scars. Oh, but I had suffered uh, from eczema when I was small and my eczema used to get so bad, like I literally remember my mom, and my dad or wherever I was waking up, you know, in the morning out of the bed and couldn't lift my arms because it was stuck to the sheets of me like scratching at night. And the only way for me to get the sheets off, literally, they had to pull the sheets from the mattress, walk into the shower, you know, fill the tub up with water. I literally had to sit in the tub until the sheets were literally like soap off my skin. That's how bad. I had it my bed. Between the creases of my legs, my, um, my hands, my knees, my legs. Summertime, my grandmother had eczema real bad too. And summertime, we used to sit in the house with wet towels in between our legs just to keep it moist and, from, and not from cracking. But I had a bear, but as the years went on, I, I grew out of it. But I still have like a mild case of like my skin just starts to itch. <laughs> I'm like, and I'll show you, see, you're probably scratching. I'm like, yeah. But uh, I grew out of it. But like, winter time. My skin gets dry. When it gets dry, it, my skin cracks. Like, I've noticed it, like, I don't know if you can see it. Like, on my thumb. Looks like I've been sucking my thumb for a couple of days. Yeah. I definitely have to get my Alvina because my skin is cracking extremely early. Normally, it starts cracking in November, December. But I guess from this crazy weather, <clears throat> it's hot one day. We're in the 70s, 80s. The next two days, we're in like the 30s, 40s. I mean, well, not 30s, but 40s, 50s. It's crazy. So, I I'm definitely have to. I'm the one that you see on the bus when it's like 70 degrees out in the morning. And I have my winter coat on because I ain't trying to get sick. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, yes. This is a great source. And my Alvina is a great source. As I was saying, continue on. Um, usage number one. Treatment of dry skin, eczema, and minor burns. Two, uh, pain relief from swelling and swelling and arthritis. From swelling and. <laughs> it literally says from. 
I thought I was bugging for a minute. From swelling and swelling and arthritis. <laughs> and I don't like to read out loud, so I was like, am I reading something extra? Wow. Three, provide muscle relaxation. Well, improve muscle uh, relaxation and stiffness. Four, sunscreen due to its rich content of vitamin E and F. Five, treats dark spots, skin discoloration, stretch marks, wrinkles, and blemishes. Well, maybe I will use this instead of the grape seed oil. Because shea butter is better. Well, it is good. Six, massages, cyber rash, and as a hair conditioner. Bing! That's what I got it for. So I have two. So one I will use for my, um, when I make my shea butter cream. And one I would just use for, um, for my face. You know, I'm just going to use it for my face because, and I probably drop like, um, grape seed oil in there. Because I ran out of my aloe vera, not my aloe vera, my Jamaican lavender oil that I use on my face. But, uh, yeah, I will try this, um, go back to this natural root. It heals wounds faster, so I will be using this for my skin now that it gets cold. I'm going to try this for like a week or two to see how it do. And then um, probably add in the Alvino. But I got this from my local beauty supply store and this was $6.99. Now, when they have stuff like this and it's from Ghana, it's <laughs> It's a good thing I held off uh, from paying shipping from Ghana. I've, I've never bought anything from eBay um, for people in Ghana, but my best friend is Ghana. I don't know if I said it at the beginning of the movie, uh, video, but my best friend is from Ghana, and yeah, they're some cool folks. But, um, yep, yeah, product of, of Ghana. But anyway, that is my review on my products. Um, I'll add the other videos. I think they're on my phone from when I was mixing the flaxseed. But other than that, I'll do another video upcoming um, about some oils and its effects, side effects, what it's used for, and all that great stuff. So, with that said, thank you for tuning in to Spiritually Rooted. I hope you have a blessed night. A blessed afternoon, a blessed morning, whichever time zone you are in, wherever part of the world you are in, have a blessed day.